Greetings everybody at the forum, Richard, Fergie, Scar Tissue, everybody, how's it going? Obviously, I am your uh, host of Rare Boxing, William Walker. Um, I, I made an introduction to an idea to you guys a while back about featuring a, uh, a fight review uh, a playlist, I guess, or, you know, like a mini channel within the Rare Boxing channel where I would just uh, run down my, uh, my, my descriptions and my thoughts of the fights I was watching, you know, as I do already with the the articles that I've posted on uh, the boxing forum and uh, part of that has just been because I do a lot of writing anyway and so my my hand just doesn't need all the extra agitation of taking notes after every fight I watch even though I still do sometimes but um, I would I just wanted to try you know doing some some videos for the fights um, and uh, see how that goes you know I know I'll stink at it for a while but maybe I'll get better anyway let me know what you think for if you if you're watching this video but um, so today as I was going to uh, cover the uh, Tony DeMarco Johnny Cesario fight and uh, excuse me I will be using in this case my uh, my old notes kind of as a prompter you know until I can get better at this um, but I guess I'll start with the with the facts first. So, um, the Demarco Cesario fight uh, took place at uh, the Boston Arena on uh, May twenty second, nineteen fifty four, and uh, Demarco weighed one forty five and Cesario weighed one forty seven, maybe a little over. Um, yeah, and so it it was. Uh, 10 round fight went the full went the distance um, of course DeMarco was the favorite although Cesario was was the pre or the earlier established fighter he was probably probably more well known at the time I'm guessing I might be wrong about that but uh, Cesario pulled off the uh, the kind of the boxers classic jab and grab while DeMarco patiently stalked him it seemed to me no time at all, though, that uh, DeMarco landed this pile drive and right overhand, um, led with the left jab. Um, and it uh, definitely rocked uh, Cesario, um, who tried to re retaliate with the same punch, the right overhand, but he didn't find any success doing it, so I give that round to DeMarco. Um, in round two, Cesario performed a a right-hand informed jab and grab. It was a little more aggressive performance from uh, Cesario. Um, but I still thought he was throwing his punches like too too wide and too long. Like he'd throw them like this, and by the time they hit Demarco, they just did not look that effective to me. Um, but I still gave that round to Cesario. Um, round three. Um, there was little to speak of. DeMarco's flurries uh, were beautifully dodged by Cesario, who won this round as well, in, in my view. Uh, in round four, DeMarco used the right hand as a kind of an override to Cesario's jab. Um, but I thought Cesario fought back with some fair blows later in the round. Um, and so I gave that round to Cesario as well. Um... In round five, um, that I think there was kind of a lull in the action, but it was obvious to me that uh, Cesario was wearing down at this point. He just looked more tired in this round. Um, so it was another round for DeMarco. Um, round six um, it was when I observed finally. I I kind of noticed it before, but in this round I f finally noticed that um, every exchange was quite brief between the two, and they never bowed well for Cesario. Um, and there was a big overhand right that staggered him again at the end of the round. Um, that was staggered Cesario, that is. 
and I thought he was going to go down, but he didn't. Um, so have to give that one to DeMarco on the merit of the near knockdown. Uh, round seven, um, to DeMarco caught Cesario with the right hand again, but he couldn't follow up. Um, DeMarco was making uh, Cesario into steak meat, in my opinion. Um, and a good left hook dropped him to his palms, but the ref didn't call it properly. He just brushed it off. Um, and, you know, I, wa I went back and watched it a couple times. If you watch it in the regular or in the real time, you know, it's it, it, it looks like Cesario may have, may have, you know, swung too wide and slipped. But if you watch it on halftime, which I suggest you do on YouTube, if you watch it on halftime, you can see that he catches uh, Cesario with a left hook right after uh, Cesario starts throwing a, a left of his own and he goes down. And it's pretty obvious that he knocked him down. Um, um, so yeah, watch 20, uh, 20, at 23 minutes and 40, 41 seconds, watch that at half speed. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, Cesario definitely hit the deck. So that's going to affect my score for sure. Gave the, gave the round to DeMarco. Uh, round 8, what I saw when they the two guys were trading hooks, um, DeMarco was unfazed every time. Cesario looked worse and worse after each one. And his number of slips just kept increasing, and he kept stumbling around the ring more. Another round for DeMarco. Round 9, nothing to report except at the end, DeMarco threw a three-hook salvo that started at the body and moved up to the head. Again, DeMarco earned a knockdown, but the referee delivered no count. Another round for DeMarco. Um, round 10, bad ending for Cesario. He was doddering off with his back to DeMarco. Another round for DeMarco. So my final score, 8-2 to two, DeMarco. And that's that's without me calling the two knockdowns, which the ref didn't call either one of them. And I know that scar tissue might bring it up, so I went ahead and did the, the um, what is it, 10-point must system. So I gave uh, DeMarco the fight 98 to 72. Um, in reality, the judges uh, scored at 98, 87, 100 to 92, and 100 to 93 for um, DeMarco. Um, I still, but those are still pretty big difference anyway. So. When I see that one, that first score, ninety-eight to eighty-seven, it, it seems to me like they were taking Demarco's knockdowns into account. Um, but Boxrec doesn't make any mention of Cesario getting knocked down. So, um, you know, um, as for my assessment of both fighters, I wasn't overly impressed with either one. I hadn't seen Cesario, I think, just one time in a fight with uh, Johnny Bratton. Which is a pretty good, a pretty good fight, I think. But um, it was such a long time ago that I remember the name, but I didn't really remember the fighting style. Um, and I think this is the first Demarco, the earliest Demarco fight you can find on the internet. And uh, I wasn't that impressed with with Demarco either, but yeah, it was an okay fight. Um, so, yeah, um, let me know what you think of the video. I know it's terrible. I hope to get better as I go along, uh, and let me and let me know in the comments what what do you think, because um, I want to know what you guys think and see if uh, if you think Demarco should have gotten two knockdowns over Cesario as well. Uh, oh, I was about to sign off, but I actually have a few things to bring up. Um, Jason Thomas. Uh, brought up the second, the, the no count fight with Dempsey and, and uh, Tunney, and I, I talked about uh, maybe going back and re redoing that 
um, because there's a full length color version now I think um, so I think I'll give that a try um, and then I have a stack of new discs here to um, burn and uh, upload yeah I've got Hector Constance Ingmar Johansson, Ludwig Lightburn, and uh, Joe Old Bones Brown. So expect uh, expect some fights from them on uh, on rare boxing soon. All right, guys, have a good week. See you later. Stupid thing won't pause.